at least sibuyas ngayon. It's 70. Eh, di ba, how much was it last year? Ano, ano, pick? Oh, so we tracked down. So it's 70. Sugar at least is stabilized na rin. Hindi na, hindi na rin, di ba? So because at the end of the day, too much, a few, a few people are making too much money. You can make money, but the money is too much. And it's good. Well, I'll tell you what, we were late because we we're talking to the economic managers and mm -hmm. they're doing the budget and all that. Inflation rate goes high because of these high, you know, prices of commodity. When inflation goes up, interest rates go up, it affects the whole economy. Mm -hmm. Just because some people are being greedy and are not doing the right thing, you know. And so if the right to import is being abused, we have to revisit that all together. We invest in uh, local um, uh, rice production. You know, food security is national security. That's why we can, uh, the president can invoke a national security and then seize all of those imported units in a We follow the president's mandate. Kung may target, the president naman, when he came out with the target, niya. He, he did the numbers. The president is very particular about his data. So it's not unreasonable. Okay? So that's, that's what we're here for, and we're not going to stop. So if we find out that people are importing and hoarding and profiteering, we're going to rate. And uh, cost of, we'll just seize it and just give it to the DSWD, to Padilla, to the DA for, you know, for, for sale at a much, much lower price point, you know? You, you have to. When the president comes home with an EO, that's, that's, that's the law, na, huh? So we have to achieve that. And we'll be here to help you achieve that. Or we'll, we'll, we'll teach you how to achieve that by rooting out those who are abusing and not making it possible. Mm -hmm. But that's, a, that's, that's not uh, non negotiable. When the president came out with that, we have to stick by that. Mm -hmm. And we will enforce that. There's no reason why we cannot achieve what President Marcos Sr. achieves is self-sufficiency, which President Marcos Jr. wants to achieve, self-sufficiency, right? Uh, let's look at this whole thing uh, as a temporary. You know? we, we have to achieve self-sufficiency in rice production. Right? That's why we will fix up the NIA, so irrigation, and we will fix up all the farm inputs, right? But don't tell me, just because people are watching Vietnam, that that should be the norm. That's more of the exception. And you guys are all saying, hey, Vietnam, Vietnam, eh. And nakita na nga na, sabi ni ko, we saw a freaking warehouse full of, nabubulok na na na, parang, ano na, ang dami, it's like parang a haunted house, kasi, even the, even the, even the customs na shock sila, ang dami, dami pang palay. Boss, just quickly, I mean, the speaker said and indicated na hindi na talaga ito matitigil, talaga na both of Isaias, Mindanao, uh, it's clear naman that some of these people are part of your group. So is there some sort of commitment we can get from you guys to do your part in helping us? Yes, we will, we will uh, talk to them definitely. And uh, we have been um, reminding them. It's going to have to be more than talk. <laughs> yeah. Um, and if we, if we have to make sure that they're out of the business of um, smuggling or profiteering or hoarding, we'll get them out. And don't try to scare the government that, uh, hey, you know, we will all band together and import her. With all due respects, they can say that, but then the government can take over and do the importing you know, itself and then just break even or even subsidize <coughs> because at the end of the day, the people, the 100 million Filipinos, should not be you know, overcharged and go hungry. That's happening. The president doesn't want that. We're ready to spend to make sure. <laughs>